Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and today I'm doing a review for Demetrios, the big cynical adventure on Xbox. Now this was originally released way back in 2017. It's developed by Cowcat and it's published by them and they were kind enough to send me a copy of this for this review so big thank you to them for that. Now this is a point and click adventure game sort of styled in those sort of classical um games of old that you all come to know and love and i have covered multiple times on the channel however this one um is slightly more um on the nose it has a lot more sort of dark humor toilet humor as such um so it does have a slider at the beginning to turn off how much uh, toilet humor is in it however if you don't like that kind of um, humour, I don't think you'd enjoy the game that much uh, overall. Now, I played it with the full settings on, because you've got to. Um, I found it, I was laughing at quite a lot of the stuff that was said. It is silly, it's stupid. Um, some of it's a bit <laughs> maybe frowned upon by some people, but like I say, that sort of comedy... It doesn't bother me at all. I find it quite funny, basically. Um, but the gameplay itself plays just like every other sort of point-and-click adventure game. You um, can click on things on the screen, interact with them. You get a, an inventory of items you can pick up, which you can use on other things. You can combine, etc., etc. The standard sort of stuff. Um, there's even uh, sort of like puzzles in the game as well that you have to sort of work out like mini game ones uh, as you progress through to um progress to next areas and stuff like that and these vary from being sort of easy enough to sort of frustratingly difficult but like i say they all add to the gameplay now the game itself will take you between about eight to ten hours to complete depending on um how much of it you sit and read and how much you interact with and do because like i say if you just skip through it you'll you'll go quicker but like i say if you're wanting to sort of interact with all the items read all the dialogue get all of the different endings um including all the bad endings like there's endings for killing yourself uh either on purpose or accidentally and like being arrested and stuff like that or being killed by other people there's a lot of sort of game overs uh which do unlock achievements as well so you you're gonna have to get them now one good thing about getting these game overs is you can literally just then click continue straight afterwards um so you don't have to worry about like having to replay any of the content up to the point where you die or get caught or etc now the story is you basically play as um a guy who's a an antiques dealer in paris is a lazy slob basically and one night he comes home drunk gets smacked on the back of the head and is robbed and um they basically take this tablet off this statue he's bought so he ends up having to do his own investigation with the help of his neighbor sandra and it's basically like a, a mystery sort of uh, detective game i've been basically trying to find out what's happened and what are the secrets about this tablet that's been stolen now, all the art is hand-drawn, which is really nice in 1080p, so it does look really good that someone took the time and effort to do it. You can pretty much interact with most things on the screen as well, uh, and the character will um, discuss them and stuff like that, which I thought was nice. Um, and there's over 15,000 lines of dialogue, so there's a lot um, to go in and sort of read through and sort of different sort of ways you can have conversations and stuff like that it's not super straightforward which i really liked about it now one thing i did like about this game um is in each of the screens so like when you're on a screen uh, it's like each room or area is like one screen there are hidden cookies and if you find these cookies not only do they get you achievements but you eat one of them and they give you sort of hints so it means if you're stuck on a screen at a certain point you can save them up or you can find one on that screen eat it and it sort of gives you a, a hint and a tip which i thought was cool it's sort of like a hidden collectible and a tip like a tip at the same time and i thought that was pretty uh cool and a, a, a cool way to do it and also some of the ways the cookies are hidden and what he says when he finds them are pretty gross so <laughs> yeah you'll find out when you play 
Now, the gameplay itself is pretty solid. The point-and-click adventure style of it, really good. I quite enjoyed it. Like I say, can't go wrong. The characters are a little shallow. Some of the side characters are a bit meh. Um, but like I say, the game itself, uh, the mechanics and everything work really well. You get like a map later on and over, uh, like an overworld map where you can teleport between areas to go to different sections. You have a mobile phone where you can ring different people, which is uh, used for certain points and puzzles. Uh, and yeah, it's a very well-rounded game. But like I say, um, obviously, if you're not into the more crude of humours or you're easily, easily offended, this isn't a game for you. But like I say, if you do want to try this game out, you want to have fun, uh, like I say, it isn't the hardest 1,000 game score either. It's just obviously having to play through it and uh, hit a few of the missable achievements. It's priced at a very good price of £7.99, so I highly recommend checking it out. It's one of the better point-and-click adventure games I have played on the Xbox, so highly recommend it. It's playable on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S via backwards compatibility. And it's available right now, so you can check that out. And if you can leave a like and a comment down below, let us know what you think of the game. And if there's any other point-and-click adventure games you'd like to see us cover, please let me know, and I'll try and cover them in future videos. But that's that for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you soon for more content. Bye for now.